think of it as something that's a plant that makes you high. It, it's like, no, this plant is doing something with a purpose. And, you know, these, these little red pubic hairs, and it's just, it's, it's, it's horny, <laughs> straight up. I'm Jennifer Zarr, this is Dagmar Cannabis. I'm located in Soho, New York. The first time I smoked was with my dad when I was a teenager. Uh, I didn't do, I didn't smoke again or drink till I was 34, and then um, I, uh, I, I discovered it. But the thing about cannabis that I found was that it, it put me in touch with deeper parts of myself. Like I really found that I was learning a lot about myself in life and just doing some really deep thinking. I'm at the height of my career. I'm shooting. I was doing um, Ozzy Osbourne's record cover, Bruce Springsteen, Snoop Dogg. You know, it, it was going quite well. And I bought 20 acres of land in Northern California in Mendocino, right on the coast. And this huge photo agent that was repping really big photographers comes up to me at a party and he said, um, I heard you're living in Mendocino. I was like, yeah. He's like, are you growing? I said, no, but all my neighbors are. And he said, can you get me some? So next thing you know, I have five pounds shipped out. I make $10,000 in like a minute. And uh, I was like, this is cool, kind of dangerous. I left it alone. This agent kept bugging me, like, get me more, get me more. My neighbors like, sell more, sell more. And, so I kind of stepped into it and then got really addicted to it. After doing this for three or four months, my building catches on fire in the middle of the night. I got arrested in the morning for um, having 10 pounds, so a pound went missing, and, I got, and for having $8,000 cash in my apartment, but $16,000 went missing and got arrested, made international news. The fire to today was 12 and a half years. When this license popped up, my first thought was like, I have no desire to do a cannabis dispensary. I've been in cannabis dispensaries, like, yuck. <laughs> it's not where I'm not gonna spend my life. And then my friend was like, you should, you could, you know, you can make a lot of money, and uh, you could do this, and you could do that. And I started to think about it and fantasize about it. I think there's so much room for growth in fashion for women in particular. And so that was going through my mind, like as a woman, what kind of environment would I wanna be around? And then the plant itself kind of spoke to me, and the plant to me is it's, it's female, it's witchy, it's magical, it's using sex hormones, it's, um, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on there. So it's like I combined all these things into my head and came up with this aesthetic. If you look at it under the microscope, it's just covered in crystals and, you know, oozing. It's just, it's, it's unbelievable. And that we don't always think of it like that. I, I want to have the best flower in New York State. I only want to have a few vendors that sell flour. Um, we're just going by quality. I just want people to find us and come in and experience it and just become a part of it and keep coming back.